Okay, so we're going to talk about lure retrievers today. Uh, you know, here is your standard uh, bullet lure retriever. You know, it works real good. Uh, this one here, I think, is uh, about a pound of lead. You slip it through your line there, you know, real simple. And uh, runs down and, and knocks, it, knocks it loose. You know, it just works like so. Your line goes through. The weight of the... Uh, the retriever here sometimes knocks it loose. Okay. Otherwise, we have a, a telescoping kind of a lure retriever. These work great too. This one here happens to be a fray bill one. Uh, it extends out to about 15 feet 8 inches. Works great, but there's one flaw with this. Uh, at deeper depths, 10 feet or under, this thing does not fill with water and becomes buoyant, and that's what causes the uh, you know, it's hard to get on top of your lure with it. So I've got a little remedy for that. Uh, real simple, take a, get you a little drill and a quarter inch drill bit and a three eighths drill bit and a round hitch pin. And we can fix those problems and makes it real easy. All we're gonna do is up here at the top and take our drill and we're gonna drill a quarter inch hole. About an inch and a half down. Real simple. What that's going to do is that's going to let water flow into this thing and it's going to sink faster. So you don't have to get directly on top of your lure, you can kind of work it at an angle. Okay. Next, we're going to come down here to the very end. Um, about three quarters inch from the end, I'm going to drill another quarter inch hole from a hitch pin. Okay. That'll let the hitch pin go. Now finally what I'm going to do is, even though I've got two quarter inch holes, I'm going to do one more thing and I'm going to take a 3 8 inch drill bit and I'm going to drill a hole right at the very end. That's going to allow water to flow out. Real simple. Okay, so we've got a big hole in the end here. Works real good. Once this thing fills up, we can just dump it over and all that water will flow right out. Okay, what I've got here simply is a uh, quarter inch hitch pin. And what we're going to use this for is if you're in water deeper than 15 feet, we can take this hitch pin, we can simply slide it on through, hitch it, and with this thing being filled up with water, it makes it heavier and it works like our first lure retriever. Finally, what I use is, around my area, I get a lot of snags in existing fishing line. So what I've got here is a 10-aught treble hook. Sometimes those lure retrievers will grab the hook, but you still can't pop that fishing line out of them. So what this uses for is drop it down, and sometimes you can get in there, worm that round, grab a hold of that fishing line, and pull it free and break it. So those are three lure retrievers I use. Um, you know, they all have their place, so I uh, hope that helps you guys.